Today I fucked up by looking through my mom's phone. Background info. Me, 14 male, and my mom, 36 female, along with my dad, 39 male, have been a happy family for well over a year after some issues. Today I found out my mom was cheating with her past ex and lied to me and my dad. Was about 1 in the morning and I was in the bathroom doing my business. My mom and I took selfies for her birthday earlier that day. I saw that she left her phone in the bathroom charging so then I decided to look at those selfies that me and her took. After looking at the photos and how they turned out, I noticed a screen recording of a video call with her and her very controlling, manipulative, and toxic ex-husband that we cut contact with over a year ago the date said something like the 20th of this month. I decided to watch the video and it was the masturbating together. My mom and dad were, and still is for now, together when this recording was made. I asked her the other day what she felt about him and she said that she forgives him for all the shit that he put us through, she even said he had a new girlfriend. I am going to confront her about it and ask her what the hell was she doing and why has she done it. Too long did not read. Mom lies to me and dad, confronting her tomorrow. Update. I couldn't do it. The selfies my mom and I took were a day before. Today was her actual birthday and I didn't have the guts to tell my dad or anyone else about it. I didn't want to ruin the mood for anyone else, especially my own dad. Sorry you saw your parents masturbating in video, that'll bug ya in the head I'd think. Tell your dad, this is for him to deal with. Nothing is your fault op. Good luck, this will be a shit show, but you will come out the other side. It's better if your dad finds out because it gives your mother zero time to come up with an excuse. Put video sound as an alarm clock, set it to sound at night. That's so upsetting for your dad. Your father has the right to know. Today I fucked up by falling for a French girl visiting my area. So almost a year ago I, 26M, matched with this girl, 24F, on a dating app. We got to talking and I learned she is from France and is living in the US for a year staying with a family in another state across the country but they visit my area every now and then. Sadly our schedules didn't match up this time, but we exchanged social media and loosely stayed in touch, responding to each other's stories, etc. At first, I didn't think much of it, but over time she began to intrigue me. On top of being gorgeous, I could tell she was thoughtful, motivated, artistic, and incredibly well-spoken. All things I found very attractive. Fast forward to a couple months ago, I get a message from her saying she is going to be in my area once again for two weeks and wants to meet me. We arranged to meet up at a nice outdoor bar. We ended up drinking wine and talking for seven hours straight about life, our experiences, our goals, our passions. The chemistry was flowing through the air. My observations about her being a motivated, adventurous, and fun girl were all true. She had some of the most expressive eyes I have ever seen. She grabbed me to kiss me in the sweetest and most romantic way possible at the end of the night. After we parted ways I knew this was going to be a problem, because I already started feeling strong emotions towards her. I had a lot of hookups and one night stands in the last couple years but it had been a long time since I connected with someone on that level or met someone that really made me feel excited the way she did. The problem is she was only in my area for two weeks and is planning to move back to Europe early next year. My head was telling me to stay away to protect myself, but my heart wanted to follow what felt so right. And I followed my heart, and saw her as much as I could in those two weeks. We experienced a lot of amazing moments together as I got to know her more, but in the back of my head knowing this might be a ticking time bomb. Towards the end of her stay, we talked about how we felt about each other and both acknowledged we had strong emotions for each other, but knew our lives and plans were just pushing us on two separate paths. I work here in the US, she is planning to go back to Europe to start her career there. I've always considered myself a rational thinker in terms of balancing school, my career and romantic relationships that I have had in the past, even in instances where I know I felt true love. But for the first time in my life, my heart is having me question everything and I'm truly considering dropping everything for this girl. She hinted at wanting me to visit her in Europe when she goes back to see her again. But she also fully respects my current goals and career if I want to just move on, which just makes her even more attractive to me. Now I'm just completely torn and it has turned me into an anxious mess because I just can't shake this one off. Too long did not read. I fell for a beautiful, highly intelligent French girl who was in my area for two weeks. Now I'm stuck battling if I should let this go and follow my plans and career path or pursue what my heart tells me feels right. Edit. 
I'm thoroughly enjoying reading all of your responses. Both silly and thoughtful thank you. Edit 2. Till this sub is filled with romantics haha. Appreciate all the messages. I'm actually going to be flying to the state she is currently staying in over this weekend. I'm going to think about all this advice you wonderful people are leaving me before I talk to her again about this. I had the same story but it was a girl from Germany. Threw caution to the wind and pursued it anyway. Now she's sitting on the couch behind me cuddling our dog. Sometimes you just gotta shoot it bro. There are no movies about the job that got away. There's no easy way to say this. You're going to have to move to France. Life is too short. You have an opportunity to pursue the one that got away. Take it and don't look back. Dot. Worst case. You'd rather regret taking a chance than not. People regret the things they didn't do. Give it a try. Make a life. So go visit her in Europe. Become an illegal immigrant in France. Learn the language. Get some nookie. Get married. Have francophone babies. Omelette du fromage. Yo. Today I fucked up by trying to be funny. GF's mom sent a picture to our group text asking if anyone could remove a smudge from a picture of a little boy riding a bike. I have a Google Pixel 6, which has a feature called Magic Eraser that does a pretty good job at removing things from photos so I removed the smudge. Now this is where I fucked up. I edited the photo a second time and removed the boy completely and just left the bike. I thought it was funny. I showed my girlfriend the photo and said, I fixed the photo for your mom. She responded with, dude, what the fuck? And I'm like, EHHH. What? Turns out the photo was of her little brother who died when she was younger. Needless to say, she mad, and I feel like an ass. Just for clarity, I had never seen a picture of her little brother. And she has another brother too so I didn't really think about it. Edit for added context. The photo sent to me was a picture of an old photo. The smudge was partially on the boy in the picture. Girlfriend wasn't mad for long but I'm still cringing at myself. Good thing I showed it to her first and didn't just send it to her mom lol. Too long did not read. I removed my GF's dead brother from a photo and now she's mad and I feel like an ass. Just tell her you'll fix it, and then photoshop in a tombstone. I'd feel like in a hole too but how are you supposed to know? I get that people don't owe someone every story about their life but that seems like something that should have been brought up at some point. You didn't know she had a dead brother. However, you should still apologize. Tell her you genuinely had no idea and hope that she doesn't break up. Also, try to undo the erasing if possible. Hope this helps. I'm waiting on another today I fucked up post saying, today I fucked up by convincing my boyfriend that I have a dead brother after he helped edit a family photo as a joke. Dude just be glad you only showed your joke to one person and didn't post it to the group chat. How long you been dating to not know that? Today I fucked up by snapping a huge rubber band on my neck to see what getting shot feels like. So a couple hours ago I asked what it felt like to get shot on ass credit, and someone told me if I snapped one of those huge rubber bands on my neck from a few inches away, I would understand how it feels to get shot. So, I being the idiot I am, decide to test that. We didn't have rubber bands, but we do have huge elastic exercise things so I used those. I pulled it back as far as I could and let go. Holy. Fucking. Shit. It hurt. It hurt like hell, and still hurts like hell. My neck is still throbbing over two hours later, and I now have a headache. It's also bruised, so I can now confirm for all of you curious, getting shot hurts like fuck. Use this as a warning. Do not do what I did. The pain is not worth satisfying the curiosity. I hope you liked my TED talk, bye. Too long did not read. Caused myself severe pain because I was curious. Edit. Guys I'm okay. The headache is gone, and the bruise is just a bruise. I'm not dying. I heard that eating jelly is like dipping your balls in hot oil for 5 million. PLs report back on results. You should also probably know getting shot feels different for everyone and is highly dependent on where and with what weapon you're getting shot with. Because of adrenaline and our body's responses some people don't even feel they've been shot. Some people are aware right away and say it's the worst pain they've ever felt. It's really a toss-up woman shrugging. Don't forget to stab yourself with an ice pick in that spot to see how much a gunshot bleeds. What a surprise. S. What did you thought would happen? This isn't a today I fucked up this is just a, I'm a fucking moron, post and that definitely isn't even remotely close to what it actually feels like to get shot. Tell me your mail without telling me.